Dearly beloved, we're gathered here once again. This is our new Holy Land. Have a look guys, we're going to turn this into a beautiful garden. It's not Mission Impossible, it's what we do. Come and have a look. There's not an awful lot I need to say about this. It's day one. The client will be here any second. He hasn't quite moved in. Massive extension, middle of High Wycombe. And the guy's beavering hard. It's about minus three, we don't care. Here's a quick look at the design. Following on from the mess and the noise that you've just witnessed on site, I thought it'd be a really cool idea to show you just how much work goes on behind the scenes. So if you get a bit closer, we'll just zip you around. This is where the client started with his original house. This is it here and he's extended out here. So it's quite a substantial property. So he's got no back garden. His brief was to have a front garden. Now at the front here, he wanted this retaining wall here to be right up here, sort of nearly five meters in the air. There's no way you'd get past planning with that sort of thing. And so we've created a terraced garden. The amount of soil and debris, you know, it's probably a hundred tons lying around on that site. And so before we start considering how much soil is there, it's actually an exact calculation. Not only are we moving an enormous amount of stuff we, we have to think of well where are we going to put it how much of it can we keep and how much are we going to throw away i performed a topographic survey of the site here we've referenced the corner of the, the the property where it strikes a ground and then we've gone plus or minus in millimeters in this grid what i've done from that is plotted topography of this garden space so what we'll do now is morph this topography over my existing design in terms of calculation there are obviously high points and low points the low points are underneath my my drawing and the high points you can see where the topography are actually above my design so all the bits that are above I'm going to be moving to all of the low points and then anything left is going to be carted away with a grab lorry what does the client get to see this is our journey you can see that the first iteration was from the top of the steps and we wanted the whole of this front garden to be quite low and then we were going to put a load of plants in now the client's wishes were to have the biggest lawn possible he wanted to come right to the front which I didn't think was practical uh, and then we decided to iterate between between the two so you can clearly see the difference by bringing this row of sleepers here to here which means we have to dig off less it all goes back into the planning that we do and this is what the client had signed off and that dividing fence between the two elevations that you can see coming from the top of the steps by the front door uh, I've shown that in a very basic format that actually looks fairly stylish it's done in modest material it's just simply sawn timbers that have been stained gray a little bit of behind the scenes so when you see us all looking scruffing covered in mud on site there's always an enormous amount that goes on behind the scene and on that bombshell back on me i need a glass of wine to slurp but i haven't got one it's too cold for wine what we're going to do here it's a staged project because it's quite a substantial undertaking and the guys he spent all his money on his house but as you can see this isn't going to be a five minute project so we've got these subcontractors in to do lots of the groundwork lots of excavation maybe a hundred tons of moving retaining walls preparation for patio decking lights camera action there's a lot going on here but we're going to do it in stages enough of me yakkering on come and have a look so like a lot of gardens this looks like a bit of a junkyard there must be 20 or 30 tons of just spoiled here. Yeah. Stuff that we don't need. The lawn is going to be an amazing transformation. I mean, look at this. A lot of people, they, well, they want to close their eyes and keep them shut, don't they? They can't really visualize what this is going to be. So we've drawn it all out in 3D uh, and the client knows exactly what they're going to get. Probably going to be next week. I'm really excited to show you how an amazing transformation this is going to be. Tune in next time.